Yo, 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 it's your homeboy QSID in the building. Welcome to another episode of my open discussion series. In this episode, I talk about the drama between Ron Miyako Joten and Fire Fist Dre. So before I continue, I want to make something clear. I am neutral. Um, I do know Dre more than I know Joten. But um, all that said, if you think I'm going to be biased... Don't bother watching this video. Just do me a favor and don't bother watching. Um, otherwise, if you believe me when I say I'm going to be neutral, then uh, let's continue. Um, now, I am subscribed to Jotun. I mean, um, I follow him on Google+. Plus. I watch his vids, all that good stuff. And like I said before, I don't know him as well as I know Dre. But from what I've seen in his vids and all that kind of stuff, my impression of him is, you know, he's a smart guy. You know, he's a funny guy. He's a chill guy. He's just a solid guy overall. He's not really like... A bad person and pretty much anything I could think of he's just a pretty decent guy overall and Dre is pretty much in the same category with the the key difference of Dre um, trolling a lot now outside of Dre's uh, reviews he trolls quite a lot and if you're a subscriber of Dre for quite a while that should be kind of known by now but if you don't know now you know um, if you talk with Dre uh, you should know that um, pretty easily but yeah, uh, that's like a, a sort of mini character profile, I think, for these two um, people involved, in case you don't know either of them for one reason or the other. Um, Joten, he's a big reviewer. He's a pretty decent guy, at least in my opinion. Uh, Dre, another cool guy uh, who likes to troll on the side, but not really like in his reviews or stuff. Just other vids that like aren't his reviews or just when we're talking in general, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so now let's start. So first of all, I'll give you guys a little bit of background information. This started with Joten being in a stream and calling out Dre for copying him. Dre found out by someone and um, Dre confirmed that this was happening, that um, Joten did call him out for copying him. Dre then sent Joten you know, messages via inbox and they had a conversation between each other. And um, I don't know how long the conversation went and uh, the stuff they said because obviously I can't see inside Dre's inbox or Joten's. But uh, for the facts on that, you'll have to ask uh, either of them. Anyways, um, all that stuff is going to be important in future, so keep that in mind. I'll give you a second piece of background information, which is Dre leaving and returning. So the reason why Dre left YouTube was he made a promise. So this basically goes back to what I was saying before about him being a sort of troll and a joker. So he was joking that if Violet Moon surpasses him in subs, then, you know, he's going to quit YouTube. Because um, at the time, she just got a big publicity boom just because, you know, mainly because she was a girl and all that. And uh, that was what the, the joke stemmed from. But uh, what do you call it? This joke was brought up a few times by some people, like Majimos, for example, because she was, in fact, actually getting a lot of subs, like, really fast, like, surprisingly fast. So this was brought up a few times until, uh, you know, Dre then changed it from a joke to an actual thing. And then he left YouTube for like a month i guess a month or, or a bit more can't give you the exact date but whatever that's what happened uh and now let's fast forward till yesterday which is when we had the stream of dre's return from this uh from you know leaving youtube based on that promise so yesterday dre had hit a stream announcing his official return to youtube in the beginning of the stream he called out a bunch of youtubers and all that um, some of it was trolling. I can't give. I can't guarantee you all of it was trolling. You have to verify that with Dre himself. But I can guarantee you that at least some of it was trolling. It wasn't a hundred percent factual or a hundred percent serious. So once again, um, we were joking around and trolling each other, and you know, we we're exposing each other. But it was all in jest, you know, all in fun. Then Dre, um, Dre brought up the Joe Ten thing once more, and coincidentally, there were a bunch of either Joe Ten fanboys or Jerem members in the chat and i said you know um the worst thing that could happen is if this gets shared on the jury room the stream and coincidentally it did i wonder why but um shortly after and to everyone's surprise joseph himself came in um into not not only the chat but the actual stream slash hangout which was a big surprise so joseph explained why he had this theory that Fire Fist Dre was copying him, and he had some really understandable reasoning. Like, if you were in his shoes, you could um, definitely see yourself 
you know, thinking some of the stuff he thought. And, you know, it definitely made sense that it wasn't just a retarded or some shit. However, the fact remains that he called somebody out based on an assumption, based on a whim, rather than based on facts. You know, he didn't uh, confirm his suspicions before calling this man out. And that is wrong. Now, it didn't get to the point where Jolten could apologize because things turned pretty heated pretty fast. So the way things started out was Jolten spoke, Dre spoke, vice versa. It went back and forth like that. And at the very beginning, Greedland was chipping in a bit. And we told Greedland to chill. And at some point, Greedland came back in, you know, chipping in. And it was the second time around when he was chipping in that the stuff that Greedland was saying sort of uh, took the Jolten off. And that's when he sort of snapped. And he went from this reasonable discussion. So Jolten went from having this gentleman's discussion, you know, using logic and all that kind of stuff into name calling, which is definitely contrasting and contradictory. And this supports my theory that Jolten snapped um, after, you know, Greedland uh, said some stuff to him. And um, basically what he was saying in the latter part of his uh, discussion was um, he was saying that because we are at the bottom of the quote unquote status quo or totem pole or barrel or whatever you want to say or bottom feeders whatever terminology you want to say basically we we don't have thousands of subs and since we don't have thousands of subs um he is justified in doing what he did and he has he doesn't really care about what we have to say about the matter blah 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 and you know he was just trying to throw shots at everybody in the hangout except eric who is in the j room still and zed who was in the j room but you know the fact remains that most of us didn't say anything literally only dre and greed said anything but for some reason um he was calling out everybody in the hangout which again kind of childish and this supports my theory that joten snapped um so that's the main thing that happened um in the stream itself and um the second thing concerns zed and i'm about to talk about that right now um yeah so after the whole joten thing um Obviously, there was a bit of commentary about what just happened and, you know, Greed and Zed spoke about Jolton and the J-Room and predictably people in the comment section slash chat box were calling them out, you know, um, throwing shots at them, name calling them, throwing insults, that kind of stuff, the predictable stuff. And um, this second half of the video um, concerns Zed in particular because the, the, the Greedland thing, you know, um, concerns specifically just the stream. Yeah, the Greedland thing concerns just the stream. Whereas the Zed thing concerns something that happened long before the stream, which is him leaving the J-Room. Now, he left the J-Room, you know, with a bang. Uh, he called out Jolten, he called out the J-Room, and he had this sort of elaborate speech, which I haven't read, but that's essentially what happened. He, you know, sort of made a post, you know, calling out the stuff he didn't like, um, and then left. Now, I'm not sure how offensive it was. Um, I'm not sure what he said, any of that kind of stuff. Uh, but either way, you know, regardless of what he could have possibly said, you know that that is the past that's something that you would uh forget or put behind you especially when zed doesn't talk shit about the jerome after leaving everything he had to say he said within the jerome in that post he hasn't really talked about the jerome in quite a long time the only time he ever really talks about it is you know people bring it up or you know um the stuff about him being in the, in the jerome someone might ask him and he'll be like oh yeah i was in the jerome and you know i left and you know i, I said what i had to say that kind of shit and again, this is a sort of testament to Jolten's character. He, you know, he actually shout out and um, gave a shout out to Zed when he first came into the the stream. And even when he was going on his sort of, you know, rant, the two people he he made clear that he wasn't dissing were Eric and Zed. And again, you know, Zed is somebody who dissed Jolten in his speech. So again, you have to think about it. If Jolten himself, you know, doesn't have this sort of grudge or animosity to Zed, then surely... Um, if other people have this animosity to Zed who doesn't speak about them, there's something childish going on. And that that's, I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. There's just, you know, a bunch of childish Zed haters who talk about him and whatever. But, you know, I'm not even going to go into that. My point is, you know, you don't have to forgive Zed. Just put it behind you. Be a human being, be an adult, grow up. How many years are you going to spend harassing this dude over the j -room when he doesn't harass the j -room? You know in return uh at least for the last month or two i don't recall any vids about zed dissing the jerome and when we talk in hangouts he never really brings them up so i really don't see where any of this is coming from if you're like a member of the jerome and you want to explain why uh some of you guys uh, hate zed or diss him or whatever you know i'd like to hear explanation um just to put things in perspective 
But otherwise, I think, you know, you guys should like just relax, leave him alone or just move forward. Forget about it. Be like Jota and be an adult to grow up. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, thank you guys for watching.